part three of our Silent Killers Week begins us, brings us the number three most common type of cancer in women. Today we focus on the dangers of human papillomavirus, or HPV. Undetected, precancerous changes can develop into cervical cancer and spread into the bladder, intestines, lungs, and liver. And although it can take years for cervical cancer to develop, it's not easily detected, and patients do not usually have problems until the cancer is advanced in the spread. Fortunately, a safe and effective HPV vaccine is available, and recent studies have found it can also protect boys and men from certain conditions. And joining us now with more is Dr. Mabel Rong, Kaiser's Permanente's physician in charge of OBGYN and medical director for Women's Health Services. Good morning, Dr. Wong. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this important topic. You're welcome. Let's talk about HPV. Who's at risk for getting this? Um, all sexually active women. Um, in fact, most women get HPV the first time they have sex and others actually get it within the first 10 years of having sex. Mm -hmm. And so this is something that men and women can carry, and, and now there's a, a vaccine that's widely available. When should people get it? Um, the vaccine is available for women between the ages of 19, 9 and 26, and actually this is now available also for men. Um, they do need to get the vaccine before they ever have sex um, because it's not uh, effective uh, once uh, the woman is uh, infected with HPV. Mm -hmm. If a man has HPV, I mean, are there any symptoms for him? Um, no, in fact, uh, uh, there aren't. So uh, men carry the virus, but typically don't have any symptoms. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about cervical cancer. You know, what are the survivability rates of cervical cancer? Um, cervix cancer actually uh, uh, is, in, there's a screening for cervix cancer as pap smear. Um, in terms of survivability, uh, the importance is catching it early. Um, the pap smear is actually able to catch lesions or abnormal cells that are considered precancerous. Mm -hmm. And caught this way, the hope is to prevent the progression to cervix cancer. So women need to get pap smears regularly then to prevent something like this? Um, yes, they should. Women should start pap smears at age 21. Um, uh, the problem is that many women don't know that they're due for their pap smears. Um, at Kaiser, we have a pretty integrated electronic medical system, record system that allows us to know which women are due so that we can reach out and get them in for their, um, in this important screening tool. We keep hearing about uh, getting vaccinated for HPV, but how widely uh, accepted are, you know, is it right now? You know, are people actually going out and getting the vaccine? Um, many women are. We do recommend it. Um, again, it is available for um, women and men between the ages of 9 and 26, and because um, individuals are getting infected with HPV on first sexual contact, it's important to get this vaccine before um, you ever have sex. All right, well, Dr. Mabel uh, Wong, thank you so much for joining us from Kaiser Permanente. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And don't forget, if you'd like to see this interview again, you can head over to the morning section of our website, kitv.com. It is 616.